when I was down and out. I was fully disconnected from the snowboard community and my friends. You're sitting in your bed, can barely move watching every webcast and just wishing you were there. That alone, like, is motivation to get back. It's nice to be in the mountains again and see the snow. When we went out to Mammoth, I knew I was gonna have to strap in, but this was like two and a half months post, just started walking. Definitely no business snowboarding. We were up on the mountain, and I had to go a couple hundred meters to the jump. First run. First run documented. I was like, whoa, my leg works. And then I started doing heels and toes. Just this one thing is, such a small bump in the road, but it feels so dramatic. Yeah, buddy! Woo! You can't always listen to the doctor, man. You gotta do what you're feeling. That's <laughs> so fun! A little motivation when I get back to rehab, like, I can almost taste it. Good. was transitioning in the summer. I had four or five months. I didn't have to get back for any certain date. We've had the time to do what needs to be done without external pressure. Fostering that confidence is a big part of what rehabilitation is. Right through, right through. Push. Good. He can say, I'm doing great. I can say he's doing great. And then we can actually test him and see where he's at. It's a dual force plate evaluation. So there's two force plates that are underneath the left and the right foot. How is he absorbing force on one side versus the other, producing force on one side or the other, and how is he landing? You're landing more evenly between feet. Really, the fundamental question is, am I ready? We're there. You're going to be OK. Getting back to snow was just like the dream. And then I got back to snow feeling way better than I ever thought I would. That's what stokes me out.